All right, so we're gonna do a little seated extension um, here on the floor. So I'm gonna kind of turn on an angle so that you can so that you can see me. Um, I like to bring one knee up into my chest and hold on to the front of my knee. That allows me to sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna flex my other foot right here straight out in front of me. Make sure that the belly button's pulled in and that your spine is nice and flat. Again, you know that we do this standing, but we've also done it seated as well. This is an easy way to get this one in at home. So we're going ahead and push through that heel. We'll start with our right leg. We're gonna lift it up slightly away from the floor, sit up nice and tall, and start that little bend, push the heel. So we want power and energy to come out of the heel. We want the back nice and flat. You can get a lot of ab work in here if you sit up nice and tall. If you're more comfortable, you can put your hands down next to you. You can even extend that leg long. Like I said, my preference is to always pull in. I feel like that locks it in. You're gonna hold that bend, stretch, and lift right with the top of that thigh. You lift it up, hold, up, freeze, up, squeeze. Again, the movement comes from you squeezing the top of the thigh to make the leg lift. It probably doesn't go very high. No, mine's barely off the floor. One up, one squeeze to the midline. One up, one in, one up, one in. Hold it up, we squeeze to the midline, in hold, in hold. Hold it in, point the toe, we're gonna find those little circles. Legs should be burning now. This is a good time to really check in with that posture, right? Are you sitting up nice and tall? Reverse, reverse. And we lift to finish with a pointed toe. 10 times right here. Here's one, two, three, four. Squeeze for five, six, seven. Here's eight, here's nine. And on 10, bring that knee in right away. We're gonna just get to that other side. Again, sit up nice and tall. I hold right to the front of the thigh, pull the knee in, flex the foot, add that bend stretch. So again, you can widen. You can even get a little extra back work and some shoulder work in here too. If you squeeze through the back of the body and right through those shoulders. Hold that straight, you're gonna lift it up, take it up, it's up, squeeze. Again, the leg doesn't have to come very high. If your posture is correct, you honestly really cannot get that leg very high off the ground. You're squeezing super tight, one up, one in, one up, one squeeze to the midline, one up, one in, one up, one in. Again, drawing that little L shape. We're going for a really long straight leg. You're gonna hold it up, squeeze it into the midline, in hold, in freeze, in squeeze. Again, pull the belly button in, relax the shoulders. Point the toe, little circles. So we're tracing probably a dime, maybe a nickel. Reverse. You got this. Getting creative with our workouts. And lift to finish right here. For 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and on ten we're going to bring that in swing the legs around behind you're going to come onto your knees you want to have a seat on your heels reach back with one hand the other hand is going to come forward as you push the hips forward again you want to stretch out the thighs and then we're going to repeat the other side stretch 